hello to everyone this is joanna and today i want to share with you what i got today from bath and body works walmart and did i go anywhere else sephora yes so this is a take two because apparently i accidentally cut my other video off not that you need to know that but that's why everything's already set up here i wanted to share i tried this polish this one is the cu latte this is the lightest one in the bunch and I really do like it now I still got some dryness in my cuticles there but my nails are back a little bit I got a little bit of shape there but I really do love this shade and I'm so happy because I started with the lightest one I am gonna get the one that I'm missing now what I got from Bath and Body Works as you can see the Lakeside Citrus the Frosted Cranberry the whipped almond and vanilla we all knew i was going to get that one and the white pumpkin and chai so i still need the creams um and i still need shower gels for some of these and they did the moisturizer sale i missed that one because it happened on a weekend which i hate um but they did it to where they kind of knocked out two birds with one stone because they usually will do a mist sale a lotion sale a cream sale you know so what they did with the moisturizer was they made it, you know, the lotion, the cream, they included aromatherapy, and it also included some butters. But they don't have the area of butters that they used to have. But I don't know if I missed the shower gel one or not, and I'm kind of waiting um, for the pumpkin, pecan, and waffles to drop. I'm thinking, and I don't know for a fact, guys, this is just my opinion, because you've heard me say that certain things that they release, they will do it between thanksgiving and christmas holiday meaning whatever they drop before thanksgiving in november end of october that's usually what's going to sell out for christmas and i'm thinking that's what they're going to do with the pumpkin pecan waffles i do feel it's coming to fruition because we have had it in a hand soap and a hand cream and nearly a hand gel in the i like you a waffle lot so I'm excited for that, but I'm thinking that's what's going to happen. So any reward points that I get, I'm going to save. Also, I got a little money set aside, so I didn't want to get too much. But on this Lakeside Citrus, guys, I don't get any citrus out of this at all. Now, I do get citrus, of course, out of sunshine and lemons because it's lemon and citrusy. And I also feel like I get a good amount of citrus out of the sun-washed citrus. But this to me is like fresh air. And I don't dislike it at all. I like it and I feel like the note that I didn't like in that salt, there was a salt, salt air, salt something candle they had. I ended up taking back because I said there was a note in there that I didn't like. But it's like this is missing that note I didn't like. It's just fresh. This could have been called fresh air, like fresh lakeside, anything. I myself just don't get citrus out of it. Frosted Cranberry, um, and keep in mind, guys, I have not used any of these. I have only sprayed the sprays in the store, but I did put a smidge of this lotion and this lotion into the crook of my arm at my elbow, and not bad. This still smelled like fresh air, and this right here smelled like a stronger version of Midnight Pomegranate. Um, so that's good, and I did not want to get this. I didn't want to not get this because... Frosted Cranberry being a scent in body care is really nice because we haven't had that one. And then, of course, y'all know I was going to go for this whooped almond and vanilla. I will get another lotion and I will get two creams. And then this one right here, I know that a lot of people are comparing it to the pumpkin picking. And some are even trying to compare it to marshmallow pumpkin latte. But I do want to say this, and this is only my opinion. This to me is a lot closer to a um, cup of warmth these two to me it's like if you missed out on cup of warmth this is the scent that you want to get because i missed out on the cup of warmth spray marshmallow pumpkin latte is in a whole different sector because it is a creamy scent and it was called comfort first when it came out comfort was in big block letters on the package it was comfort and then in very little letters it said marshmallow pumpkin latte because everybody wanted comfort to come back myself included those of us that didn't pay attention to the small lettering when pumpkin marshmallow latte came out and we were told it was comfort, that's when we started noticing it. But I went so ham on that scent that I ended up not liking it too much anymore. And it still smells great. It is the perfect scent. It's light. I can wear it to work. I can wear it every day. You can wear it at night if you have a favorite fragrance that you like to wear, you know, before you go to sleep at night. 
So I really think that a lot of people are comparing this to those two, but they're missing cup of warmth. And you would have had to have had cup of warmth, I think, to, I guess, think to compare it. Because a lot of the people are young adults. They've had the marshmallow pumpkin latte or they've had this pumpkin picking. Maybe when this one came out, they were young. They weren't even, you know, purchasing that then. But this right here, I really feel is neck and neck with cup of warmth. It smells just like it. And I wanted to get the spray because I missed out on the cup of warmth spray. All that I had in that was a gel and a cream. And I don't know if I had a scrub or not. That might've been what I got because I sold out of this that year. But I really feel to me like the pumpkin picking, and you've heard me say, it's like the insides of a sweet pumpkin-y sweet potato -y pie. Like I just dipped into that pie and just rubbed that contents all over my skin. That is a different scent and I like all three of them. And I think, yes, that's all that I got from Bath and Body Works. So the next thing I want to share with you is what I got from Sephora. Now I went into Sephora because I had, to, um, I had a card to activate on my phone. It was a $100 gift card, but it was the kind where you give up 2,500 of your points. They told me about a year and a half ago that that perk would pop up every blue moon, but as soon as it did, it would be sold out. Well, about day before yesterday, I noticed it and I hit it, but I had to take everything out of my basket because it had to be hit like it was a purchase. And you couldn't even use it with what you were getting right then. It had to be activated so that I could use it either in store or online. So I went in store today to look for a few things that I wanted. Now, I watched Andrea Renee, who mentioned Jackie Ina, which I watched both ladies. I have been interested in the Relief Belief, Belief, Aqua Bomb, but they make an aloe one and that one seems to stay sold out. So... I found online that I could get the full size one for $38 and they had a kit that had the full size in it with a few other products for the same $38. Now this isn't the kit that I wanted. They thought it was and I thought it was too until I took a good look at it. In the kit was the eye cream, the aqua bomb full size, the toner. But then this item right here is the makeup remover which is something that I got in full size that was one of the items that I wanted. In the kit that I wanted, this item right here was replaced by the face wash. So I put that in my basket separately. So I'm still okay with this kit right here because I still got the full size Aqua Bomb, but it's not the aloe one. Then I wanted to get this right here because even though I have oily skin, our skin in the wintertime gets hit by cold air and dryness. So I can use emollient things. And one of my favorite moisturizers, guys, you've heard me say over the years, once I hit my late 20s and early 30s, from that point on was the re-energy cream that I would get as a sample whenever I would shop and buy Lancome products, which at that time, I bought a lot of Lancome mascaras and I also bought their Brune Automatic Eyeliner. They were the first felt tip that I ever had. So I really do love, I feel like as women, our age shows in our eye area. That's how I feel. That's just my opinion. And I feel like if we can keep that eye area hydrated and looking nice, then our age doesn't show as much. And I do know that a lot of that too has to do with genetics. But if there's anything I can do to stave it off a bit, I like it. And for me, the Lancome creams are tried and true. They've been around since I've been in high school. You've heard me say that, and I really do love them. Now, what else I got was this Daily Greens. I wanted this moisturizer, and it looked clear like this online, but it's really this color right here. And that box is right here. So I'll put that there so you can see that in case any of you want any information on that. And this is what it's called. And this was 38 or 34, I think. And again, this is the product. And then of course, this is the Aqua Bomb. I'm sorry, this is the Aqua Bomb makeup remover. It comes with that little spatula. So I really do like this. And a lot of this stuff really works for the mascara that I use. But even though I don't wear a lot of makeup, guys, I do wear powders and things like that in the wintertime. That's mostly when I'll wear, you know, a foundation, but mostly powders in the wintertime. So that's all that I got from Sephora. And then I wanted to 
do something with the area over there at the sink and I'll take you over there and show you in a bit. That's where I had my mishap at guys. I went over there and accidentally cut the phone off instead of putting it on pause, but I needed one with three prongs. So, and the funny thing is little Skylar at Sephora is trying to get me to get a credit card and I want one, but I tried getting a Sephora card. I think my credit score then was like 710. It was a little bit higher, but I had applied for a bunch of stuff and it dropped it and they didn't accept me. Um, and even now when you hit to apply, it's like it's stuck there. It doesn't give me anything to enter new information. A thing just pops up that says we'll make a decision in 10 days. And I'm not sure that whatever it is in the phone is working because I never get a letter in the 10 days, but I did apply when that happened for a Home Depot card and a Bed Bath & Beyond card, because y'all know what I, I want to say. I have to make sure I get the words right, Bed Bath & Beyond, and I got those. Now, I don't really need the Bed Bath & Beyond unless there's bedding or something that I want or a blanket, but I can definitely use that Home Depot card because one of the plugs that I'm going to show you this right here, I could have gotten something like that in there. And even though this apartment is small, it has a lot of specialty light bulbs. So I can definitely use, and I did do quite a bit of shopping in Home Depot when I was moving, guys, and I ended up loving it. So this came from Walmart for $9.99. I went ahead and got this exfoliating wash. Um, my unscented wash is back in this kind of packaging but it must be only on walmart online and y'all know i want three of those because i love the olay unscented wash they didn't have the beads in this fragrance that i wanted so i went ahead and got another one of these and i never see the sheets but they do exist i also went ahead and got some dove mango butter bars when our um power went out in 2009 it stayed off for weeks we had a really bad snow and ice storm here and when the power and everything finally came back on, because my son at that time, his dad and stepmom went to stay at hotels. Of course, I didn't want to be with them, but they did think of my son and they took my son with them because there was no school because it was so cold and everything. And I had to light the stove and, you know, it was just really bad. But when the power came back on and we all had our heat back, you could hear the shower water in all the apartments. And I had one of these mango bars out at the tub at that time. And it was fantastic. It was so uplifting and invigorating that I went ahead and got another one when I saw this. And I'm glad they still make it. So I'm going to take you over here to the area where I plan to use this and just show you what I've done and what I plan to do. I welcome your input. I also have something funny to show in case Miss Madam Glam sees this. Now, don't laugh, Miss Madam Glam. But who are we kidding? You're going to laugh. I'll be laughing too. Okay. So, this is the area I've done nothing with. <laughs> this is the side where I've kind of shoved things over. And y'all see this? These little liquor bottles. I've had these for years. They're still good, but I don't really... I'm a less than social drinker. Now, I will take these and probably whip up pina coladas and all that once I get my blender. And then the chocolate vodka, of course, is for my chocolate martinis. But y'all going to get a kick out of this. This right here, this Jose Cuervo and that bigger bottle right there, guys, that is strictly for my margarita pie. Yes, I make a frozen margarita pie. But what I want to show you is this little area right here. This little area. I decided to put the Keurig over here. And that's just there for now because I haven't put much food in the refrigerator. I really want to Clorox the refrigerator when I get some of this stuff out of the way. Um, and this is just up here until I find somewhere to put what's in there. But I moved the microwave here. And you see this right here. This right here. This thing right here is to that little light right there. And it's unplugged. Now I could put that up in there. I was going to tape it up in there. But it has an off switch. See where I can turn it off. It has an off switch. So I figured I'd leave it there. But I want to put this right here. And I'm going to put this behind the microwave. Because this is my microwave plug. And then I haven't re-plugged up my Keurig yet. And what I want to do is this area. This right here is my dish rack that came from the other apartment. And it was too big for this apartment. So I put it on top of the sink. So I wash the dishes here. And then I drain, you know, the water or I put them under here. I actually take this off of here. And then when I do rinse the dishes, I put them here. Now, I still haven't bought any dish rags yet, guys. And I'm going to have to hurry up because this right here is all that I have left of these. 
and I don't know if Dawn still makes these or not, but these are fantastic. These are like emergency type little dish things, wash and toss. Like you just put your water in the sink on top of your dishes, and when you start washing, it makes a bunch of suds. And I bought those years ago and had them a couple of years before I opened them up. So even though the package is worn, they're still good. But I wish they'd make more of these. But I'm going to have to hurry up, guys, and get me an absorbable dish rag. I can use these about two or three times each. I don't know if that's what they're intended for, but I don't have a lot of dishes. This is just because I cleaned out my microwave. Now, Miss Madam CJ Glam was going to be so kind to send me something she had that I wanted. And I told her I didn't have enough room. So we're going to show you. This right here is kind of where I put these glasses at. This is like my glassware. Just not all of it, but just some of it because I gave a lot away. And I've got some shoved way back up in there. This is here because there's a third piece to this and I can't find it. So when I find it, I want to make sure that I can find the rest of it. Because I'm real good for putting things places and not knowing where to go back. This is the few dishes that I kept. The white dishes are over there that my daughter gave me, but I don't need any more than this. Now, guys, I did have about eight of each of these. I had eight plates, eight um, salad plates, and I just took a lot of that and threw it out. Like, I didn't really want to, but I did. This is where all the little sippy cups go at that I had. And she had cups like this. And I would have said yes and thank you, but I've got nowhere to put them because you see how crowded this is. Then... There's this over here, guys. I can't fit another cup in there. I cannot fit another cup in here unless I start breaking cups. This is that one that I ordered um, from my friend's mom, and that's the word one. And these were the cups I got from Pier 1. I got nowhere to put them. I brought them out of my room, out of the basket, out of the bag that they were in. And I got nowhere to put them, but I didn't want to let these stay in the store. And I ain't giving one away. How stingy is that? But these are good for, I like to drink that green tea. You heard me say that. But there are people that drink certain waters. They have a tea bag. So y'all probably know what to do with these cups. In all honesty, y'all know I bought these cups because they were cute. The most that I'm going to do is probably put a little fruit in there and make some kind of water or put my white tea in there, green tea, what have you, with watermelon. And That's all I'm going to do. But what I want to do, and it's not going to happen tonight, <laughs> is I got to get rid of this popcorn maker. There's nowhere for me to store this popcorn maker because y'all seen this already. I've got soap all in here, but I do plan to empty that. Like I don't plan to refill it with soap. I plan to use those and let it be emptied. This um, oven right now is very little. I've got my... And I don't really want to use my oven to store pots in. This is clean, but I don't like the idea of having to store them in here because I'm afraid that I will forget and maybe turn the oven on one day, you know, to preheat it. And that wouldn't be good. So I'm going to have to do something different. But this right here is the small dish rack that I got. Um, and this right here is a little mat. But I'm trying to find something, guys, like a bath mat. Like, not a bath mat per se, but I wish that somebody would make a dish drying mat like this and then it would have that backing like a bath mat has because I shake my dishes off. I don't just sit them up there sopping wet and that's my problem with this is in the other apartment, I had a big enough space for this to sit. I don't think this will fit. Let me see, what am I looking at over here? So I'm thinking about using that thin one plus this is over that edge. You know what I mean? So I don't know, but I would have put this over here, but I needed my microwave here. And I did have my microwave turned the other way, and I realized I need to be able to open it up. So I'm going to put this plug here. I just hate to do that because I'm going to have to reset everything, but it doesn't matter. But I feel like this will work. I just don't want to get that area wet. I want to make sure that area stays dry. And the only water thing I have over here is this. So little bit by little bit, I'm trying to get stuff together. Um, I don't really have anywhere for a lot of stuff to go. Um, in the wintertime, I do drink a lot of tea, so more cocos will go up there. I also don't have a lot in here because um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, and I haven't talked to anybody that lives here. There's one lady here that I said introduced herself to me, and that's Fran. I just want to ask her, where does she store her dishes and things? Because I am someone who needs a ton of space, and right now I have to get used to the fact that I don't have it. So... That is it. I just wanted to share that. And if any of you want my margarita pie recipe, hit me up. It's in a book. I can show, send you pictures. 
it has a pretzel crust and it's really good I made it a few times years ago I haven't made one since because it has tequila in it and it's optional two to four tablespoons and I think if you don't want to use tequila you can either double up on the lime juice there's something to that but anyway that's all that I have I want to thank you so much and until the next time everyone have a great day